Hey, what's up everybody? Thanks for tuning in. My name's Royce and today I want to show you some cool features coming in messages in iOS 10 this fall and I'm running the beta right now and there's a lot to cover so let's just stop talking and get into it. So we're going to start with the blank canvas. When you first open it up, you'll see these little three icons. You'll be like, what is it? So the first one is camera. So it's just a cool way to now share your photos and all that stuff. You get a cool camera preview. So you see, hey, wait, where's my face? Can't see, camera's blocking my face. But you, you know what I'm trying to do. You can take a picture. If there is something interesting to take a picture of right there. And you can scroll here, all that stuff, add photos, all that stuff. And if you scroll to the left, um, sorry, to the right, you get a uh, camera, so you can click that. You get the full camera app. Or if you click on photo library, you now get access to your full photo library that you can use if you don't wanna use these little thumbnails. And now the second feature is the little heart with the two fingers, and this is actually some cool stuff that Apple's bringing from the Apple Watch. You actually can draw little messages, so I'll just, hi, and it will digitally send and actually replay. Tap to hold too, to send your heartbeat. or do little taps to send some haptic messages. And you can change the colors for all, for all of these too. Well, except for the heartbeat. And then if you see the little arrow down the bottom right, if you click that, it'll give you a bigger canvas just in case if you wanna actually write out a whole message like, hey, I was thinking, uh, no, there's, there's not enough room. But you get what I'm trying to do. For this one, you actually have to hit the send. So that, that will send just like that. And if we go back here, there's also a little camera icon down the bottom left here of the space that you can write in where it'll give you access to your camera. You can flip it just like the regular camera. On the left is to take a picture. On the middle is to record a video. So I can take a picture. Mm -hmm. yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> and then you send it. And the message will actually write out the way you did it right on the photo. And the third icon here is actually the coolest one. If you click on it, you actually get access to apps, stickers, um, anything like that. Apple's allowing third-party developers to fully plug in to the iMessage app. So there's a lot of stuff you could do. Some of the stock stuff here is we get access to Apple Music. So you actually can send a full Apple Music song. And if the other person has Apple Music, you'll actually be able to play the song right here in Messages. And then if you swipe, Apple has provided some cool stock classic Mac icons, which is really cool. Click on one, send it. And this is where things kind of get interesting um, now that Apple is allowing you to drag stickers anywhere on to a message. So that's pretty cool slash kind of just, just chaotic. Uh, but I guess it has to be on some type of message or anything like that. As you can tell, I just try to drag it over here. The arrow, it didn't work, so I have to send it. Um, or, but if I drag this here, I can drag that on top of there. But if I try to just willy-nilly do that, it won't let me do that. There ha there's still some order to it in a sense. You just, things just aren't splattered everywhere. And this next one is my favorite. Finally, internal GIF search um, and image search. So you can look up anything. So I can just type excited. Bam send away, don't have to open up a third party app or anything, it's right there. I also wanna note that the arrow in the bottom right, if you click that, it'll give you, it'll expand so yeah, you can actually see more of your options. Same with the other apps, if I go back to stickers, bam, see more options there. And then if you click on these like four dots here, it'll actually line them all up so you can get to whatever you need to get to faster. Next, I wanna talk about the new bubble effects. So after you've written your message, instead of just sending a regular text, you can now add an effect to your bubble to help get across the type of emotion that you want. So if you hold down on the send button, you'll be given options. So the first one uh, is invisible ink and that allows you to send little invisible messages to the person. I'm gonna scroll down, big problems. And when the recipient gets it, it's like this little, mysterious little sprinkle sparks everywhere. And it's like, what does it say? And all you gotta do is just rub across, bam, the answer is six. It's so simple. The next one is gentle. So if you wanna send something and be gentle about it, click that and it's gonna be like, oh, I'm sorry. Instead of, I'm sorry, just plain and simple where it really doesn't have any meaning. You're probably not sorry anyways, you jerk. And the next option is loud. So if you just wanna scream something and really get it across, send it that way. You can scream, where are you? And the next one is slam. So I guess that's another way if you want to like really get your point across. So you can send that. And this one's actually pretty cool. Bam. And it actually 
uh, moves all the other messages above it, which is kind of a nice effect. The next addition are cool screen effects that you guess is just another way to send a cool effect. So I, if I text happy birthday, balloons flash up and all that, or fly up. And if you send it, you see, hey, yeah, the balloons, cool. If we go, go back here, you just see there's balloons, there is confetti, lasers, laser show, no one, no one send me this, please. No one send me this. And then fireworks, uh, and sorry, one more, and then shooting star. So you can send all these cool effects and it'll actually show up there, shooting star. Um, I don't know if all that's supposed to go clear like that. That might be a beta thing. Apple's also added emoji prediction. So as you type, it'll predict what you want to say and you can switch it and then you get your emojis instead of actual words because who uses words nowadays? It's crazy. And on top of that, as you can tell, the emojis are a lot bigger. Apple has increased the size three times um, so you can really get your emoji game on. What's also cool now is after you've entered your text that you want to say, if you click on the emoji icon, you can see you can see the message app now highlights certain words that they know are emojis. So you can just click on them and just add them as you go. Birthday. What? Nope. And if you notice that if there's more than one possible option, you can actually select. If not, it'll just change it automatically. And bam, you can send that beautifully composed message of words and emoji cones and things of other sorts. You can also now send messages in your own signature. For now, at least in the beta, if you just turn your phone, you'll be switched to the signature window and you can just type, or not type, write. And hit done, bam. And it'll send, it'll send so. Along the bottom, it'll have some presets that are already there that you can choose from or the more you write, it'll actually appear here. So these are kind of your, like your recents. Apparently I said sub twice. So that's just what I like to do. Now let's say there's a situation you read a text message, but you don't really have time to text back. There's a new feature called tap back. So if you double tap on a message, you now can either like, heart, haha, whatever, on top of the message. And then bam, it's just another way where you don't actually have to communicate. Another cool thing is Messages now supports rich links. And the best way to explain that is just to show you. You see here I copy and pasted a YouTube link. So if I hit send, instead of it just sending the link that the person has to click on, it'll actually send a preview of that link that you actually can interact with right here in Messages without having to be sent to YouTube. And if I actually press play, the video will play here right in Messages. My other phone was tripping out, so let's see if it'll work here. So if you hit play on the link, let's see what happens. Yeah, so you'll actually play here. And this is actually a little short I did. It's called Unexpected. I did it for the My Road Reel competition, sponsored by, by Rode Microphones. If you want to watch it, I will put the link there that you can click on. Shameless plug. And now that's been added, if you hit on Info here, you can now turn on Individual Read Receipts for certain contacts. So it doesn't have to be a universal thing anymore. You can now pick and choose who gets to see if you read something or not, all that good stuff. And last but not least, a feature that wasn't talked about at all, but markup has now been added to messages. And if you don't want to know what that is, let me just show you. If you click on a picture here, you can select it. And if you click on it again, there's now a feature called markup that you can select. And it allows you to draw here. Look at all these cool stuffs. You can add text. Add text here. It's hard to read, put up there. Memories, or you can magnify. and you can add a signature. So, nope, nope, nope. beta problems. That's my signature. It'll be added there, enlarge it, whatever you wanna do. Bam, and that's markup. So that's a really cool way to just draw on stuff right here in the Messages app. You don't have to do it within Photos via like a third party app or anything like that and then send it. You do it right here, hit save, done. All the changes have been made so when you send it, it's all right there for the other person. And they're like, oh yeah, that's neat. Then you can tap and you can give it a like. 
that's it. Those are the new features that will be included in iOS 10 when it's released this fall. At least I think that's it. If I missed anything, please let me know. Or if there's some other features that you guys have found that I haven't, please let me know as well. Um, this is beta one, so things can change. Things can be added. Things can be taken away. Who knows before the official release. But yeah, I plan on posting some other features as far as like the new lock screen, home screen, some other stuff that are pretty cool in iOS 10, there's just so much that I didn't wanna cram it all into one video. I'm gonna separate them into different things so you guys can pick and choose what you actually care about and wanna learn about. If you like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And again, my name's Royce, and thank you so much for watching.